right, so check this out. For the last week and a half, I've been noticing little things happening, but now it's starting to get to me. It started with watching videos or TV. I'll be watching with no buffering and strong Wi-Fi signals. You get it. And then whatever has been said on whatever I'm watching will repeat itself with no issue and then carry on. For example, I was watching a video and the girl on the video said, I don't know what's going on, but I don't like it. She took a deep breath and then said the exact same thing again, word for word, exactly as she had just did. When this first happened, I thought nothing of it, but then it started happening on my phone too. I started rewinding videos or restarting movies to see if it was uploaded that way accidentally, but they were all normal. I tried to brush it off, but a couple of days ago it started happening while I was talking to people. I would be talking to someone and then they would repeat what they said exactly the same as if they didn't just say it. At first, I would try to logic my way out of this weird occurrence happening while watching YouTube or Netflix, but now I don't know how to logic my way out of people speaking to me face to face. When I ask them why they said it again, they're adamant that they didn't. I've asked the people that I live with if they've been experiencing this too, but nobody has. I've started mouthing the end of sentences when it happens and the people that I'm talking to just look at me like I'm absolutely crazy. But to me, they literally just said and did the exact same thing only moments ago. And I have no idea what's going on. I randomly have these thoughts like, wait, I've seen me being in this situation before, or I've seen this already. It sounds like deja vu, but trust me, it isn't. It's sort of like deja vu, but I know what follows the moment I get the thought. All right, so here's the story, and it's a very short one at that. So I'm riding my bike to check up on my brother playing outside with the neighbor's kid. I get there, and I see that everything's fine. I turn around on my bike and I start cycling. Before I turn right, however, as I usually do, a thought instantly appears in my mind. Wait, I've seen this before. Stop your bike. And a car flies by me. You won't guess what car drove by. The exact car that I expected. A big black Volvo SUV. After it drove past me, I was confused and processing what the heck had just happened. And that's the time that my deja vu literally saved my bones. And this is not the first time that this has happened to me either. Now, I've had a few glitches in the Matrix happen to me, so I must be getting close to escaping the Matrix. For example, here's something weird. I have a key hook that is second nature to hang my keys upon as soon as I get home from work. I work in pest control and this will come up again. They're always in the same spot, three hooks from the left. I'm a creature of habit and I never falter from this. On my way out to work, I go to grab my keys and they're not there. In a slight panic, I check the pockets of my pants and jacket and there's nothing. I tear through the whole house looking for my keys, even double checking the key hook several times in case I had what my wife calls husband brain. This is where things are right in front of me and I still don't see it. But still, I don't see them. I call my wife who says that she's not seen my keys but maybe I left them out in the car that morning when I went to the gym. I was lucky enough to be able to use my mother-in-law's vehicle to go check my wife's van to find my keys. And on my way out the door, I look over and there are my keys hanging there. And my keys are the only thing on that key hook. Confused, I head out to work and things begin to get even weirder from here. Some additional backstory is that being in pest control, we're in charge of all client relations, and this includes clients canceling service. A few months back, I had a client that had canceled service and didn't want preventative services, so 
I cancel her out, and I thanked her for being an awesome client. She even gave me a thank you card. I put a note in the account of the cancellation. The following month, I noticed that she was back on my schedule. Thinking that this is odd, I go to do the client's house, confused. Maybe she decided not to cancel after all, I recall thinking to myself. As I pulled up, I spoke with the client about how I was excited that they had decided to stay with us and that I would start preparing for the upcoming ant season. And now she was confused and she said that she didn't cancel the service. And I thought, okay, maybe I'm mistaken. So I treated the house as normal. When done, I looked in my sun visor where I keep all of my thank you cards and hers was gone. I guess it was just a weird dream. Fast forward 30 something days, I wake up and I can't find my keys again. I go through the whole rigmarole of looking everywhere and of course they're back in the first place that I look so off to work I go. The first stop that I make is the same client's house. I pull up and I wave and the client now looks confused. She says I thought I canceled the service. I said I thought so too but when I saw you last month you said that you didn't. I looked back at previous services and there was not a service done last month and the cancellation note was not in there. I get in my truck and I'm driving away confused. I again look in the sun visor and again I see no thank you card that she had given me. I know it all sounds weird and some may be thinking that it's the uh, chemicals that I use but I'm a big advocate on using personal protective equipment and I'm even on the safety committee and I push PPE heavily. All I can think is that that was a glitch in the matrix or some weird parallel universe shift. What do you think? Recently, I was at my aunt's house alone to use her pool. I was in the kitchen, pulled out a glass cup from the cabinet, and a spider jumped out at me. I dropped the cup and glass flew everywhere. I was barefoot, so I ran upstairs to grab a pair of shoes to clean up. First, I went into her guest room. She used to keep most of her shoes in there. I opened up the door and the bed was gone. I could see the outlines of where the bed used to be, you know, indented into the carpet. I closed the door and remember thinking, where the hell did it go and why did she get rid of it? Did she sell it? Why didn't she tell anyone about it or ask my boyfriend for help moving it? I thought it was weird. At the same time, my aunt had talked about wanting to move in the past, so I thought maybe she just sold it in very early preparation. I also thought maybe she was turning that room into something else. I had it in my head that I was going to text her and ask her as soon as I got back outside where my phone was. It took way longer than expected to pick up all of the glass. I was cleaning for at least 30 minutes. And when I was done, I tried going back outside and her cat tried to escape out the back door. So I basically had to tackle him to get him back inside. After all that, I completely forgot about the bed being gone. It wasn't until a few weeks later when I was over at her house again. I asked her what she did with her guest bed and she had no idea what I was talking about and said that the bed was still there. I walked upstairs and, yep, the bed was exactly where it used to be. No idea what happened that day. I was completely sober too. Hmm. I was on a long drive with my boyfriend down a long, straight highway. Perfectly clear blue sky, just a couple of wispy clouds in the air. I saw a plane flying and then suddenly disappear. And no, it didn't just get further away and out of sight or go behind a cloud. It was flying in a straight line, fairly low and close enough to be very visible. And it just disappeared. The best way I can describe it was if you were watching a play with the sky painted on a backdrop and instead of someone going in front of the backdrop, they walked behind it and disappeared from sight. It was literally like the plane flew behind a wall in the sky and disappeared. I freaked out and I told my boyfriend to keep an eye on the sky in case it happened again 
because I wanted him to confirm what I had just seen. Well, lo and behold, another plane did the exact same thing. And then another. At this point, we were wondering if it was the same planes reappearing from behind the wall because we saw this happen to maybe four or five different planes altogether. Now, I don't know crap about air traffic control, but I can't imagine there being that many planes so close together flying in different directions and then just disappearing completely, as if they disappeared, reappeared, and then disappeared again. There were no clouds in the way, and there was no logical explanation at all for it, and I've never seen anything like it before or since. Anyone ever seen anything like this before? I'll preface this with a little personal background. I was an all-state vocalist in New York and have done national and international competitions in NYC, Cincinnati, Toronto, DC, etc. That was a bit over 10 years ago and I've been using my voice for recreational singing daily ever since. But I've been sick with recurring pancreatitis for around six months now, and this is when things started getting a lot more strange for me. I was in the hospital first for five days, and then I was okay for three months before my next round with the beast. The second time in early February, I was admitted due to extreme pain and not being able to keep water down. Things were very askew because I was being pumped full of drugs for the pain since that's all they can really do. 11 out of 10 pain for sure. Anyway, after 5 days in the hospital this time, I wasn't feeling well when I got home. I was heavy into withdrawal and was not okay for about 5 more days. I got better though, and when I did, I didn't notice anything odd. I was going back to work and on my first day back was struck again with the same pain. I knew it was starting over again and I ended up back in the hospital for four more days. Now that was three attacks in as many months. My whole life has changed, my diet, my attitude, etc. due to needing to adjust for my condition. But things started to stick out for me that were different now, most notably my voice has gotten deeper. It seems weird and it wouldn't be too noticeable if you weren't me, but being so intimately in tune with my voice through my whole life, I could tell the next morning when I woke up from my last stay. Before that, I was on pain medication that were sickeningly strong constantly. The doctor said to me, sort of jokingly I guess, that the nurses here had a tendency to stop people's breathing. I'm pretty sure it's because they're liberal with dosing regardless. Second, my best friend of 28 years called back to something that I don't remember. Three times so far. And then I have one memory that he doesn't have. Third, before I went in the first time, during a work meeting we were told about how the unpaid time off we got would be changing. Two months after the first happening in January, I needed to take two hours off one of the days and needed to let the boss know so he could adjust the PTO according to the new policy. He said he didn't know what I meant and that no, I wouldn't lose a whole day for taking the time off. We got three days where if we missed any time it would count as one of those days and you could just stay home at that point, but it was only for three for the year and as the first one of the year. I asked him what he meant and recalled the meeting and he had no recollection of the policy or the meeting. I've asked the only coworker I work with directly and he doesn't seem to remember either. So that's it so far, but I'll keep everyone updated if anything else comes up.